Hey guys, Balls of Kerrigan here. As promised for my 1000 subscriber special video, I'm here to do a Q&A, answering all your questions you sent me both on Twitter and YouTube. If I by chance missed any, leave them in the comments below and I apologize in advance and I'll get them to you as soon as possible. So with that out the way, here we go. First question is from Cyphers. Which Digimon games have you played slash beat? Well, let's see. Digimon World 1, played, never beaten, great game, kind of prefer the RPG games over the Tamagotchi ones, but it's a good start. <clears throat> World 2, one of my favorite PS1 games, although going back to it now, it's kind of not as good as I remember, but I still really like it. Played, but never beaten, got to the final dungeon and just stopped. World 3, once again, played, never beaten. Really like it. Couldn't get into it as a kid for some reason, but I didn't own it as a kid. But going back to it now, I really like it and it's really good. And I do plan to finish it eventually. World 4, hated with a passion, never finished. And then we got the DS games, Digimon World DS, played and beaten, love it to death. World Dawn and World Dust, played both, beaten both multiple times. Love those games, two of the most underrated RPGs I've ever played. Lost Evolution, played, I could beat anytime I want. But I got problems with Ro uh, Lost Evolution. It's a good game, but the difficulty is just really easy and the game is really, really short in comparison to the others. But besides that, it's just as good as the other DS games. Other than that, I think I haven't played any other Digimon games, surprisingly. I think. I haven't played any of the Wonder Swan games or anything like that. I played the trading card game in real life, if you want to count that, but I didn't play like the video game trading card game. But yeah, I think that's everything. So yeah, that's all with the Digimon games I played. And of course you know I'm playing Cyber Sleuth next year. Oh, no, 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 no. One I forgot about. The Digimon Adventure game for PSP, which was, which is the um remake of the show in game form with some added stuff like everyone having their mega evolutions and phenomenal game haven't finished yet because only started like last month but yeah really like it and next question comes from adam valero have you seen death parade if so what do you think of it funny thing i actually have a one minute review of death parade up if you want to check that out but if you want my quick thoughts Death Parade is a show I went into knowing nothing about but the name and the kind of basic concept and it just blew me away. It's actually in my top 10 anime of all time, that's how good it was to me, which is something I didn't expect of a, out of a random show I watch. So if you haven't seen Death Parade, go check it out. Next one, have you ever played any Fire Emblem ROM hacks? No, although I kind of want to for the simple fact that looking at some of the Pokemon ROM hacks and stuff they can do with that. I can only imagine the crazy stuff they can do with Fire Emblem ROM hacks. Plus, I'm pretty sure the Fire Emblem community is pretty talented and I want to see what they can come up with. So that is on my eventual to-do list. And next up from Jamil Prowl. What is your ideal Super Robot Wars series list including Band Presto Originals? Oh boy, that's a pretty long list. It would never happen, but if I was making Super Robot Wars games and I had like unlimited funds and time and everything, um, every Gundam except Victory Gundam, because I hate Victory Gundam. Dan Cougar, Dan Cougar Nova, Kogios, Votoms, Gunbuster, mm, Gunbine, what else? Uh, what's it called? Razufon, Big O, King Gainer. Eureka 7. Um, Nadeskio, both the TV show and the movie. Pretty much this list is going to go on for a while, but to sum it up, Gal Gygar. Um, I do two more shows. Gal Gygar. I just had another one in my head, but I just lost it. Um, I said Kogios, of course. Gurren Logon, can't forget that. And the final show that off the top of my head would be Zoids Zero Century. Because I love Zoids. Zero Century at least. Um, 
For Banpresto Originals, honestly I would want any and all originals, but if I had to name some select ones, Zenger and his um Dagengard, Folka and the Ibadorath, or however you pronounce that, because I don't know how you pronounce that. Um let's see. Let's see, Zenger, Folka, Arado, Ciola and their max, Kiosuke X um excellent. Bullock, Kusua, all of them. Pretty much the SRX team, the ATX team. Ng and his ex Bane, or XX Bane, still a weird name. Um, pretty much any original you can think of, really, I would be cool with. I don't really dislike any of them that I can think of off the top of my head. So, yeah, it would be a very big and very long game. And the final set of questions comes from West Town HD. First one is How long have you been into Smash? And I've been playing Smash since the very first game. Yes, all the way back on the Nintendo 64. I actually remember the first day I played Smash. Came home from school, parents bought it for me. The rest is history. And I played pretty much every Smash game since on release day. And I've been put into at least 200 hours into each of them. Mainly being thousands upon thousands. You don't even want to think about how much. Um, How long do you see yourself doing YouTube? Honestly, I have no idea for the simple fact that I don't think I'll ever get bored of YouTube. I've been on YouTube since 2005 when it first launched, but back then we only made like crappy Linkin Park AMVs and you no know, really bad comedy sketch videos. But back then I wasn't a um, content creator, just a viewer. But yeah, been on YouTube since it pretty much first began. And of course, back then it wasn't about like money or fame or anything. We just did it for the enjoyment of it, which is what I'm doing now. So I don't see why I would stop. So yeah. Next one. Who's your inspiration for YouTube? Well, the main person that inspired me to start being a content creator is C.S. Andreas. Mainly because he's the one that gave me like that push to say like, I can do this. If other people can do it too. But... Other inspirations, pretty much anyone you can think of, Jay Wits, Pro Jared, even PewDiePie, pretty much anyone that does this has like been successful with it and like loves what they do. Boogie2988, whole lot of YouTubers. Um, next one, how old are you? I am 23 years old. Just saying that out loud is like, uh, cuz, uh, I'm getting old. <laughs> uh, next one, do you have any siblings? I am the youngest of six. I have two brothers and three sisters. Um, not very close with most of them for the simple fact that like half of them were grown by the time I came around and was being raised. So they had already moved on. I mean, like moved out of the house and did their own thing. So yeah. Um, and he asked, when can we smash again? Because we used to play Smash Brothers from time to time. Pretty much whenever I'm not busy, because one, I'm working, and two, I'm doing YouTube. In between all that, I have to find time to do gaming, anime, dancing, working out. Yeah, pretty busy, but we will eventually. And that goes for pretty much anyone. If you want to play Smash Brothers or something else with me, I'm sure we can find the time. Oh, um, next time. Uh, next question. All-time favorite video games. Hmm. If I had to do a quick list, <laughs> number one would be Xenogears. Cause. I love Xenogears, my favorite game of all time now. Next would be Symphonia, which was my favorite game until Xenogears came along. Sorry about that. Um, I have to name some others, Super Robot War Z, Persona 3, Persona 4, Final Fantasy 6 and 10 amazing games, um, Shadow Hearts, very underrated RPG, Pokemon, XY, Gold, Silver. Pretty much any of them besides Gen 3, which I'm not the biggest fan of. Uh, yeah, as you can tell, I'm a big RPG fan. So, yeah, off the top of my head, those are some of my favorite games of all time. Um, what's the next one? Will you ever do a house tour? I guess maybe one day if you guys really were interested in that. Not that interesting for right now. Kind of a small place, a lot of stuff. One PS4, two PS3, is a PS2, two Wii U's, a lot of stuff. You can tell a bunch of nerds live here, and it's awesome. Um, the next question is, when will you be man enough to drink a bottle of hot sauce? Really? Okay. 
not going to do that ever because one, I'm not going to torture myself like that and two, my tolerance to spicy things is not very high, like at all. And I would be in agony for like the next day. So yeah, that's not happening. Um, next one, what's your opinion on Hasane Miku? Mm, don't really have one for the simple fact I'm not really familiar with her. Like I know who she is. Um, I know what like Vocaloids are, but I never really took the time to listen to any of them. I know she appeared on like, what was it, David Letterman or something? He was really confused. Like I saw that clip and everything, but that's for like listening to the Vocaloid songs and being like deep with the subculture of music. I'm simply not. Might give it a try one day. I do love music. Um, next question, who's your anime waifu? That would have to be, if I had to pick one, would be C2 from Code Geass. If you have to ask why you haven't seen Code Geass, that's all I have to say. Next one, favorite Fire Emblem Awakening character. That would be Tharja most likely, because Tharja is just awesome. I love her personality and the way she looks. Like, out of all the Fire Emblem games I played, which is quite a few, Tharja is like on the top of being memorable for just being a character. And so yeah, Darja. We'd love to see her in Project Cross Zone 2 as well. It's awesome that she got into um, Shin Megami Tensei Cross Fire Emblem, but I'm not too interested in that despite the title, and that's kind of weird to say because that should be like an awesome thing, but let's not get into that. Uh, next question, who'd you marry for the first time in Fire Emblem Awakening? Um, on my first playthrough, my male character married Noe or Naue, the little dragon girl, because I wanted my kid to be a dragon. But unfortunately, nah, her name, the dragon girl, kind of sucked in my first playthrough, so I didn't use her that much in comparison to her parents, so it kind of sucks. Second playthrough, it was my female Rob. Yeah, my female Robin married Krom. And third playthrough, my male Robin married. Um, oh yeah, Lissa, Krom's sister. And her son was Owain, and he destroyed everything in that game. I had him and Robin as a father-son combo, and they pretty much like decimated every enemy unit in that game. It was awesome. Um, do you play OSU? No, I actually didn't hear, um, know about it until earlier, although I think I've seen it before. If you don't know, OSU or ALSU, not sure if it's like an abbreviation or anything, is kind of a like simple rhythm game. Um, I'm not too big into rhythm games, it gotta be like really something I'm interested in, like um, Persona 4 dancing all night. So yeah, have not played OSU, but who knows, might give it a try one day. And what one stage do you want in Smash 4 as DLC? Hmm. I'm going to give you two. One returning stage and one like completely new stage I thought of. Returning stage would be either Saffron City from 64 or Fountain of Dreams from Mabel. Because Fountain of Dreams in HD would look amazing. And um, what's it called? Saffron City from 64 was just like the fun stage to play on besides like Hyrule Castle. So yeah, we'll love to see those back. As for like a brand new stage, maybe the <clears throat> maybe the Sword of the Makanis from Xenoblade Chronicles. If you don't know, the Makanis and the Bionis are like two giants in that game. Like they are the worlds of the game. And I would love to like fight on the giant sword with the Makanis that's stabbing the Bionis. That'd be awesome. To like to let the uh, flying in the background and stuff. Just off the top of my head, pretty sure I can think of something cooler, but yeah, first thing that came to mind. And final question, what do you say to a guard playing stage in Hyrule Warriors with Metal Fist as a boss? Hmm, that would be pretty awesome, although I, I would have to question like why? I guess it would be one of those things where you don't question it because it would just be awesome. I actually haven't played Hyrule Warriors yet despite being a big Blue Soul fan, but not sure if I want to get the original or get the upcoming 3DS port, but yeah, I will play Hyrule Warriors eventually, and that would be very awesome because every game needs more Metal Face. And as far as I can tell, that is all the questions I received. So in case I miss yours or whatever, leave it in the comments and I'll get it back to you, my answer. So yeah, once again, 1000 subscribers. 
thank you hope you guys enjoyed the video once again if you have any other questions leave them in the comments i'll be more than happy to answer thank you guys so much for watching and my next subscriber goal is 5,000. not expecting to reach that anytime soon of course but that's the next goal thank you guys so much for watching and as always have a great day